With Christmas just around the corner, I wanted to share a family recipe for stuffing that goes really well with turkey, chicken, whatever else you might have around Christmas. We're going to have ground beef as the main part of the dish. And we're going to be adding a little bit of extra flavor using chicken liver. You can also use a turkey liver if you buy one of those big turkeys that comes with the giblets in the bag. We're going to be using chestnuts, which is appropriate for Christmas. We got parsley, tomato sauce, raisins, pine nuts, a stick of cinnamon, a little small onion here, and then obviously olive oil, salt, pepper. We're also going to have a little bit of broth. We may not need to use a lot of this, but it's helpful to make sure the other ingredients cook once we get to the pot. So the chestnuts will usually have a flat end. Put that face down on the cutting board. And unlike other things, we're going to use the deepest part of the knife. Apply some pressure and push down hard. Make sure your fingers aren't under it. And there you go. Chestnut cut in half. All right, that's starting to boil on high, so now we're gonna move all of these in. And we're just gonna let those boil for 20 minutes. After draining the chestnuts in a colander and letting them cool off for a little bit, the skin should come off pretty easily. Keep in mind that chestnuts have two layers of skin, one thick, crusty outside one, and then a slightly thinner, harder to remove inner one, and we really want to remove both. These are all the peeled chestnuts, and these are the shells. Uh, it takes a lot of work, and you'll get a lot of stuff under your fingernails, but it's worth it. One thing to note, if you get some of these, which look kind of dry and shriveled, that's a bad nut. Just set it aside and toss it out with the shells. Before we saute the two chicken livers, we just want to cut them into really tiny pieces. I'm going to put a little bit of oil to coat the bottom and the pan. After the oil heats up, we're going to introduce the pieces of liver. That's pretty cooked. Oil to coat the bottom. Wait until they start getting a little greenish, brownish. With that nice and broken apart and brown, we're gonna put in our cup of tomato sauce. So that added a good amount of liquid. I'm just gonna add a little bit of chicken broth so that we have enough to cook all the other ingredients we're gonna put in. And after the tomato and the chicken broth, we're just gonna add in that little stick of cinnamon. Our chestnuts from earlier going next. Now the pine nuts. At this point, we're gonna introduce the liver from earlier. And the raisins. And the parsley. Just a handful of this is fine, we don't need a lot. You can practically taste the air right now. A tablespoon of salt. And some pepper for taste. You shake should do it. I'm just gonna put in chicken broth until everything is nice and covered. Once everything is in there and you've turned it down to low, put the lid on top and leave it like that for half an hour. That may have been a little bit too much broth. If you open it and after half an hour you still see this much liquid, just let it keep simmering with the lid off and more of it will evaporate away. That looks just about reduced, so we're good to serve. All right, let's just put in the cinnamon stick for decoration. All right, here we go. Let's see how this turned out. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Even though this is stuffing, this is great on its own. I could eat this whole thing with a spoon. It's that good. This is enough to share with people, so I suggest you do. 
because it's good, but that's a lot of beef. You know, Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, may next year be better than this one. That's a little sad. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and good luck this winter. <laughs> that's even worse. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and remember, don't cook angry.